Greetings everyone. Today we are diving into a crucial topic on how to collect support bundle logs from the Arista UI switches. We have some differences in collecting the support bundle logs on UI's releases like 4.26 to 1F and above, if we compare it to the earlier releases. Since there are some differences, let's cover both the scenarios. But first, we are going to check how to collect the logs in UI's releases 4.26 to 1F and above. In this releases, collecting the Support bundle logs is quick and easy with a single command called send support bundle. In order to use this command, the syntax is easy. Send support bundle, then we have to specify the directory to save the bundle file. Here, we are using flash as the directory and then specify the keyword case number following with attack case number. In this example, we have used one, two, three, four, five, six as the tag case number and then we got to execute the command. That's it. On the screen, you're gonna see the same command executed. So I'm executing send support bundle flash, and then the case number keyword, followed by the example case number one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm executing it. As you can see on the screen, it collects various debug command outputs and also the logs from the bar log that tree and also various other commands from the switch. Once it's completed, it's gonna save the file in the flash with a timestamp on it. And that's it. Now it's ready for you to move the file out of the switch. Now let's discuss how to collect the logs in US code versions below 4.26.1f. Here in this case, we don't have the send support bundle command available. However, there is a CLI based script which you can use to collect the support bundle. You might see a similar script provided by the Arista tag team when you open a tag case with Arista. On the screen, you're going to see the script execution. We just need to copy and paste the script on the switch CLI and we will collect all the logs in a single bundle file and save it in the flash. Once it's done, the file is now ready for us to export it out of the switch. Now it's time for us to export the collected log bundle files out of the switch for analysis. For this, we are gonna use the SCP file transfer. In the Mac and Linux, we can use SCP command as per the syntax shown on the screen. SCP followed by the username at the rate of the host name or the IP address of the switch followed by the path of the file on the switch and then specify the path to the path to save the file in the local mission. You can see the similar command also works in the Windows command line or PowerShell as well. Okay, now let's see the demo on using the SCP command to move the files from the Arist switch to Mac or Linux. On the Mac or Linux, I'm gonna execute SCP admin at the IP address of the switch. Here I'm using 10.85.12128.86 as, as that's the switch IP, then followed by the path to the file for which we're gonna move out of the switch. So here that's a log file, and then specify the local directory on which you wanted to move the file to, and then execute it. You will see the SCP file transfer happens, and then once it's happened, in order to verify whether it is copied successfully, you can use the ls command and specify the directory on which you save the file to and then grip for the file name. Here I'm gripping for tag bundle case and that's it. You're now seeing the file on the mission. Now let's see the same on how to do it on the Windows side. On the Windows command line, I'm, I'm typing out scp followed by the username admin at the rate, then I'm gonna use the same IP address here, that is 1085.128.86, then followed by the path in which the log file is saved, that is MNT flash, then the file name of the switch, that is tag bundle. And then in order to save the file to a particular location on the Windows machine, I'm going to use the Windows File Explorer, and then I'm gonna copy the path for a particular directory, and then I'm gonna use the path in the command which I am using here. Once the command is complete now, now it's time for executing it. Once, once the command is executed, 
you should be able to see the file transfer happening. And then once the, once the file transfer is complete, you can validate the file using the same Windows File Explorer. Open it and then you should be able to see the file over there. Well, that's a wrap for the contents of this video. Thanks for watching it and we will be back with another informative video from us soon. Thank you.